Hello gamers, this is Swaroop here and today I'll show you how to play Minesweeper. Well, the game Minesweeper has been around in Windows for quite a long time, as long as I can remember. But the most unfortunate thing is that still there are people, in fact there are many people who don't know how to play this game. So here I am showing you how to play this game in this video. So let's play Minesweeper. 3, 2, 1, go! So when you first open this, your screen should look something like this. Otherwise you can change the difficulty level by clicking on game and then to options and you can change the difficulty level here whether beginner, intermediate or advanced. So I'm just starting with beginner here. This whole thing you can see is a field. This all blue blocks. So the basic strategy of this game is to click on all those uh, to reveal those uh, all the blue blocks without detonating mines which are present here and there in that field so that's the basic strategy the first thing you can do here is just click on any of them randomly well i would suggest you to do uh, click any of those in the corners generally i would prefer those let's say this one oh ho this revealed as this closed up many blocks and revealed a few numbers and now let's go for this one this says one here which means there is a mine in one of the blocks attached to this of this thing there is only one block attached and so this got to be a mine when you know for sure that this thing is a mine all you have to do is right click on it right clicking uh, flags that box and now you can't click on it which is a good thing because when you accidentally click on a mine it the game sh stops the game ends there so flank means there is a bomb in it there's a mine in it now go for this one this says one and this is the only block it is connected to so this got to be the mine so right click on it and now even this says one but we already know this is a mine so none of these three can be mines because if there are any mines then it won't be one so you can just click on them directly now go for this one it says one and there is surely there is only one mine one block attached so that got to be the mine so right click on it and flag it now go for this one this is one and this is the only block attached so this got to be the mine right click and flag it even this says one but this is attached to both of this and surely this is a mine so this cannot be a mine so click on it and this says two so both this and this are connected to this two and there there has to be two mines so both of them have to be mines so click on them and right click on it this says two we have two mines already so this cannot be a mine directly now even this is two and we already have two mines so none of the other blocks this is attached to cannot can be a mine so both this and this are not mines the same goes for this this is at already attached to two mines so this and this cannot be mines with similar logic you can solve the whole thing of course i'll explain the logic as i go through this is one and we already have one so this and this cannot be mines because this is attached to this thing and even this is one so we can directly click on all those things to eliminate them this is one so this got to be a mine flag it this is one so this got to be a mine because that's the only thing attached so flag it this is one so this cannot be a mine because this is already a mine there so click it normally we have a mine here so none of these can be a mines we have three here and only three blocks are attached to this so none all of these i mean both of these two are mines so flag them and you can see the number of flags or the number of mines still left by seeing the number here we have only one mine left we can do that one here we already have one mine attached to this so this cannot be a mine two it says two we already have two mines so this cannot be a mine it says three we already have two mines attached to it and so and this is empty blocks empty box attached empty this has to be a mine and this goes for the same 
this 3 is attached to 3 of the mines already so this cannot be a mine so that's it that is how you play finally you will get this thing that congratulations you won the game of course i have resetted my scores just before this tutorial so this is my best time of course 50 seconds is still a lot well generally if i do it quick and if my luck supports i would generally lose it by 20 seconds or so but still it's not a pretty good time i can still improve on that but anyway there you go that's how we play minesweeper so see ya don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many other interesting tutorials so, bye bye Farewell.